Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, my name is Brandon. We are here doing a little one or two day vlog of Typhoon Lagoon and Fort Wilderness. We're gonna do a little staycation, go to Hoopty Doo review, have some fun. But first we're at Typhoon. I have not been yet this program. We're here with all of the friends here. Um, Honor's never been on a video before, hello. Hi. Um, and we are going to go to Typhoon, like I said, and we are gonna do all the things, ride the rides, go in the wave pool, the lazy river, get some snacks. I did bring the underwater camera, so we'll see how long that that lasts for me, and we'll film on some of the stuff. I'm so excited about that, because I love doing that. But we're gonna head inside and see what we get up to first. We're gonna have to put sunscreen on, because it's so hot, stay hydrated, but hopefully you all enjoy this one. I'm so excited about this little staycation Typhoon. Stitch is over here as well, meeting everybody. We just took our picture with Stitch. Sarah had a great interaction. We'll put that picture in right here of all of us, but so fun over here by the boardroom. All right, we're in the wave pool at the start. I don't know how good this camera is. I can't see myself. Me and Sarah made it to the wave pool. We're gonna get wet first and then go head to one of the family raft rides. Here we go. Goodness. I can't even stand up. <laughs> so next up we're gonna do Gangplank Falls, the family raft ride. You guys know that we love this one. If you saw our other Typhoon Lagoon video with Haley and Tommy, we had a great time on this. So I'm excited. It's a five minute wait. We're having a great morning so far. The wave pool was so good. Well, let's go head on to Gangplank Falls all together. Here we go. Here we go. I hope we go really fast. Oh, uh, who's gonna get this? did the raft ride, it was so much fun as you saw. And we're now just gonna lazy river it for a little bit. Yeah! And the movie Fantasia, who was the sorcerer's apprentice? Mickey! Mickey, Mickey Mouse, that's right. So it's time for lunch now and we are at Leaning Ponds and we got some good stuff. Um, Sarah got the chicken tenders and fries, which was a contender for me. Kat got like this like kids like chicken bowl. It looks really good with a side of fries. And then I got the barbecue chicken flatbread, which looks so good and so delicious. So I'm excited. Oh no, Sarah's choking. But we're gonna eat because we're so hungry. I think that like once you're in the water for a bit, you kind of work up a little appetite. So we'll try this and see how it is. All right, here we go. Mmm. I usually don't like like pineapple on pizza or like onions on pizza. But with a barbecue sauce, it's like hitting pretty good. Out of five maple leaves, <laughs> how many maple leaves hey, did you rate it? Um, this is like a solid 4.5. Delicious. So, our cones are melting. Moana cone, and a hey hey cone, also and Moana. another Moana cone. So many cones melting. Let's try. It. Delicious. All right, friends, you haven't seen us since Typhoon Lagoon, and I was gonna film on Misadventure Falls. That was the last thing. 
but the underwater camera died and then we got our cones you saw those like hey hey moana cones that was fun and those like were melting so fast we ate those and it was kind of chaotic to end but we are changed and showered i'm still here with sarah and we're in, the woods. we're in the woods we're in the wilderness we are at fort wilderness because um, i'm staying there tonight with a group of some people and myself and sarah and that group of people are going to go to hoop de doo review and we're so excited because i've never been sarah's never been it's like a really good time so we've heard and we're so excited so we're currently though like the whole situation is kind of what sarah we we got on a bus from flamingo crossings and it took us backstage to cast services and we had no idea where to go from there. We had this guy, was, what was his name? Juan, we'll Juan, name him Juan, yeah. from Peru. And he put us on his golf cart. So now we're yeah. here and now we're walking. So thanks Juan for helping a bit, a bit. Yeah, we were like, I think we were trying to explain that we come from Flamingo Crossing and he thought that we were just like resort guests or something in the wrong spot, which we are resort guests, but we're also cast members. So we're just walking to try to find our cabin. This resort seems very complex and kind of confusing we shall see if it actually is or if it's just this first impression of our little start here but we're gonna go find our cabin and then we'll update you then we made it 2315 Woohoo! we've made it to our room here at fort wilderness in the cabin and i love the whole vibe we've been here for like a little while i've been editing uh like my four parks one day video working on that one but we're just gonna show the little room and then we're gonna head very shortly to hoopty doo which i'm so excited about i cannot wait to eat this food but let's show this room and the outside and stuff because the whole like vibe of this resort is so great so when you walk inside we have the kitchen here it's like a nice big kitchen very very nice i love everything about it um we have some friends here sitting down there's everyone and this is like the little main area table i love this little thing like the little like bench on the side is so great the chairs are so themed like everything in here is so themed to like a camping sort of lodge which is so fun there's the tv and a bunch of cabinets the little lanterns are so cute with like the animals and the trees and stuff on them when i facetimed heidi she said that this is like her like next like bucket list resort <laughs> because she loves the whole vibe here so this is like the main little area the ceilings are cool as well um, it really, really does feel like you are in like a lodge, which is what it is, I guess. So it makes sense. There's this little picture of like Bambi and Thumper and you come down this hallway and here's the main bedroom. It has the queen bed and then the two bunk beds, which is so fun and so cool. I feel like if you had a family, this would be such a fun place to stay and kids would love this if they could stay in like a bunk bed. I know that I loved a bunk bed as a kid, so that's pretty cool. The high ceilings once again, then when you come over here, there's like this little area, which is the closet that just has like a little curtain which is so fun and then an area over there with like some storage space i guess there and then we have the tv on this little stand it like genuinely feels like you are not even at disney world and you're like in some like campground somewhere which they did a really good job with that and then here's the washroom again super basic and it feels like you're in a campground which is what it is i keep saying but like they really did a good job and the bathroom to me is like the epitome of that where it feels like i'm camping and I love it. I think it's great. There it is. The lights are cool, but it's still a Disney resort, obviously. So it has like little Disney touches, which is great, but I really, really do love this. And then I kind of showed this earlier, but when you're outside, this is like what you walk up to. There's like the little stairway here. Um, and you can see like in the background, it literally just looks like you're camping. Like it's so cool. I love it. And I love like the colors, like the green is so funny and it's so great here. There's the picnic table with a hose and in the distance it just looks like you're in a forest not in Orlando Florida which I think is so fun um, but there it is it feels like you're honestly in like northern Ontario somewhere in Canada which is just so great so I'm excited to stay here I definitely think that this would be a place that if you've never stayed here I definitely would I know they have like the campground where you can like pull up a trailer or like use like a tent and stuff but this is a really, really cool option, um, and I'm so glad that we're doing this. I never would have thought to have wanted to stay here, but I'm so glad that we're here. So let's get all ready. We're gonna head to Hoop De Doo. We'll show some stuff, of course, on the way there and like check out the shop and stuff, but I cannot wait to have this meal and like see the show. I've heard so many good things about it, and I just cannot wait. I'm so hyped. It's gonna be such a great meal. Hey guys, it's Sarah and Brandon here. Right now, we are waiting for the bus to go to 
You're so sick. I know. Hoopty do <laughs> review. Woo! And we're with everybody. Yay! We're so excited about this. We had a few like moments where I left the camera and forgot it, and then I didn't have my passport. But thank goodness, I have a picture of it because of the like the sangria and stuff. So we're okay. We're good. Right? Sarah was worried. Sarah was going to get mad at me. Sarah always gets mad at me. Because he when told I me. Things. He told me, you better bring your passport, Sarah. I said, okay, I brought it. And then literally he was like, sorry, there's a bug here. A bug. And then he was like, I did not bring it. And no. I was like, you. I told you and I forgot. But we're waiting for the bus. There's a bus that brings you, I guess, everywhere. I really don't know. This resort feels like we're in Canada right now, and I love it so much. It's like Northern Ontario vibes. So we're going to catch the bus. <laughs> And head up, check out the store, and eat our delicious meal. Also, look at the cowboy boots. Wow. Yeehaw! Everyone's all ready. We have made it to Hoopty Doo Review, and it looks so cool here and so much fun. We originally had six of us at one table, and then Sarah booked a reservation separate, but the cast members were so great, and they put us all together. So we're excited about that. We're going to head inside very, very shortly, have the meal, and do the show. I don't even know what to expect, but I'm so excited about it, and also so hungry, and the food is like right up my alley. So let's head inside and see what kind of things happen to us at Hoopty Doo. So here is our first course. Coleslaw cornbread salad and stuff. It looks so delicious. And we're sitting right here at the back. And there's the stage. The vibes are great in here. So excited. So we'll dive into this first course. The first little update is the cornbread, as Kennedy said, what did Kennedy say it is? Bussin'. Bussin' cornbread. It really is. It is so good. And like the whip little butter on there. Yum, yum, yum. And then the coleslaw is great, the salad's good. I love like the dressing on the salad actually, it's really great. But the cornbread's the star of the show so far, so we'll see what tops the cornbread in the next little round of food. Cheers to hoop de doo Woohoo! Chocolate milk is wild. The chocolate milk is great. What do you think? It feels watered down. <laughs> Let's see. It tastes good though. It just tastes like juice. And I like it. <laughs> Brianna, how's the chocolate milk? It's a I was gonna say it looks like it. I'm so happy for you. Wally also brought us the backup. So there's the backup sangria. There's the sangria. So we'll see how many sangrias. Sarah is already down a sangria. It's so cool. Good for you. And then Cass and Miranda got the red sangria. How's the red sangria? It's good. Really good. That's good. And then Kennedy got a, a trusty water. Mm -hmm. And Caden got a sweet tea. Look at us. My favorite's the chocolate milk, and I'm not even having any. Yay. Coming in to present a hand clapping, foot stomping show called the Hoopty Doo Review. <laughs> so loud because the show's going on, but here's our meal. Mac and cheese, potatoes, beans, fried chicken, and ribs. Looks delicious. Cannot wait to dig in. How does everyone feel now that we're like, like I don't know like what point we are in this night, but how do we feel? We feel good? Everyone feels good? We're not even halfway? Sarah, how do you feel? I'm sweating. Sarah needs water. Let's put it that way. Everyone else feels great. Uh, the highlights are mac and cheese, cornbread, mashed potatoes, and sangria. 
Cake for dessert. It looks delicious. How is it? Oh my god, amazing! It's so good. Bussin? Some would say bussin. Bussin. Here we go. 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 Here
we go. We're gonna try. Oh, oh, yeah. The washboard. So hoop de doo is over. It was literally a 10 out of 10 time. I had such a great time, I would do it again. I loved it so much. The show was incredible, the food was so, so good. The dessert was awesome and just like the whole vibes about it were so great and I loved it so much and I'm so happy that I did it. This was on my bucket list for this program and I've got to check it off and I'm so happy about that. It was so great and I definitely will be back because I just had such a great time. So many smiles and laughs and it was just excellent. I'm gonna say back, okay, but we have to be like walking out as you do it. Okay. <laughs> you just like set up a scene though. <laughs> you set the scene. the scene. No, you have to like walk out and then I'll walk and then I close the door. Okay, got it, got it, let's do it. Bye, cabin. So I didn't really film last night because we, got back late and then I was up late trying to edit a video and finish it and we played games and watched a movie called Starstruck that I've never seen before and we ate a bunch of snacks and got extra blankets which was a funny memory and had a fun time so we are now walking the bus to go catch the bus to go to breakfast and check out the store and stuff we mobile ordered breakfast we left our cabin and we said bye to the cabin as Brianna did for us which was so sweet we're gonna miss our 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 little cabin but it was such a great stay I would definitely stay here again it was so much fun um, I'm very hungry though so let's go have some breakfast Cass, give us a dance to this music in her tea she has her poor wilderness tea Woohoo! yeah 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 camping rules she's all decked out yeah. so here's the breakfast that I chose French toast sticks which look delicious a side of bacon and a chocolate milk because Brianna influenced me from yesterday. So You're I had welcome. to get it. Uh, Brianna got French toast sticks and a muffin. Cass got waffles and potato barrels and stuff. And Miranda, toast sure. sticks and a muffin. Yay. So fun. So we're going to enjoy this. And we'll let you know how it is. So that's gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope that you all enjoyed. I had such a great time at Hoopty Doo Review and Fort Wilderness and Typhoon Lagoon. It was honestly just such an incredible weekend. I definitely have to go back to Fort Wilderness. Heidi wants to stay there now so bad. And I think that would have just such a great time. And I'll definitely be back at Hoopty Doo because that food was so good and the show was even better. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing to our channel for more Disney College program content just like this and ring that bell so you never miss any new videos from us and remember it's always sunny.